Hey Gemini, welcome to your general love reading for mid-April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. And it is a general reading, so that means that it might not be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And if you would like a cord cutting session with me, just email me and I will send you all the details about those. All right, so Gemini, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of April 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, starting out the reading, we have the Emperor crossed by the Ace of Swords. All right, so somebody is really trying to take charge or control of a situation here. Um, really wanting to, but it feels like the the obstacle here is to actually take take that action. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. So there's a situation here that might be that might have already made you feel pretty sad, pretty depressed, feeling some kind of a loss, especially when it comes to something that, something that was stable or that seemed to be stable. Or it, I feel like it's the other person here, someone that you are involved with that may have appeared to be taking things long term, but then that was, that was stopped. Um, it could even be that it was you who was thinking about this situation, this connection, as a long-term stable connection, but then something happened here um, that left you feeling sad. I feel like you are coming out of that and finding your own sense of stability from within and just trying to move away from this situation. Let's see for them. We have the star, the four of swords, and the four of cups. Yeah, okay, so it feels like this is a person, like I said, um, somebody really wanting something here, really wanting to take, take charge, really wanting to take control, and that's the thing, is that this person does have that potential. The potential is here, and they do have that wish, but there's, I, I feel like they're not taking much action. There's a little bit of passivity, both having the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Um, this person is settling almost, or just kind of like not, not taking the opportunities even from the universe that are being presented to them to move forward. Um, they're also going through some kind of healing here though. So they, it could be that they are recovering from something especially with the star and the four of swords. Whatever it is, it's really positive, but I feel like this healing, it's also keeping them from really taking some direct, tangible action towards this connection. And that's why they're in this Four of Cups energy, just feeling some depression throughout the process um, and just not really doing much. Let's see the potential outcome. We have justice. Okay, beautiful. So something is going to come into balance here. Something is working out. So whatever this healing is that this person is doing, even though at the moment it might feel like they're not really doing anything, well, justice is the potential outcome, okay? So there will be some kind of balance. There will be some lessons that are learned. So it is productive, okay, at the end of the day here. So let's actually clarify and see. All right, and that's also Libra's energy. Um, we also have Aquarius and Aries. When I just saw Justice again flip over in the clarifying deck. So that's just a double confirmation here that, you know, don't worry. Whatever direction it is that you're moving towards, which I see you with the Six of Swords here, um, moving away from conflict, basically, it's the right direction. All right, so let's see the Emperor with the Ace of Swords. And we have the Eight of Swords. There she is again, Justice, showing up a third time. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles. 
Yeah, this person is feeling stuck and I feel like they're feeling stuck in terms of possibly having to make a decision or just in terms of figuring out what it is that is right, what it is that is not right. Um, and there's a lot of overthinking about this and this is also something that is holding them back from actually taking action. I feel like they have put some effort into this like and they possibly still are with the seven of pentacles like they're they are investing in whatever this decision is that they that they want to make um but they're not getting like the full results just yet and a big part of that again is because they're feeling stuck in their own headspace about whatever this is again i feel like you know it's like it's kind of like behind the scenes Justice is working here, like justice is playing her role in all of this. So there are a lot of lessons that are being learned and there is some kind of a balance that is happening. I feel like there may have been karma between you and this person in the past or maybe this person is dealing with some kind of a karmic situation that is in the process of resolving. Whatever that is, it's coming into balance. All right, so let's see the five of cups for your energy. All right, and we have the two of swords and the ace of cups. Yeah, okay, so there is a sense of loss here that you might still be kind of going through, but I, I feel like you're actually coming out of that, okay? Um, and the sadness has to do with the fact that this situation was not progressing, that somebody was indecisive, or that, you know, what you thought was the right thing to do, the other person may not have been doing that, all right? And this was very, very conflicting to you because there was love with the Ace of Cups. Let's see the King of Pentacles. The Six of Swords showing up again for you and the six of wands. All right, so you have three sixes here, Gemini. Again, don't forget that the roles can definitely be reversed. All right. <clears throat> You're moving away from a, from a commitment or from something that was a potential commitment. Again, something that you thought would have been very stable. Um, you're moving away from that and you're moving away from it very successfully and it can only lead you to a very positive outcome. I feel like you are finding your, your own stability within your own self in the process and that may have been part of your lesson is to actually find that sense of stability. Um, for a very small group of you, this may even be related to like a paternal figure or, you know, um, I know it's mostly feminine energies that watch these readings, but there are masculine energies as well. Um, for some of you, this might resonate on a paternal, paternal level, like feeling like, you know, you, if you have children and if you are a father, for example, that even if you leave this situation, you can still have that stability to, to be the father that you want to be. Okay, so this is just for a very, very specific group of you. For others of you, this might just relate to paternal figures in your life in some way where you are moving away from any conflict that you may have been carrying or burdens you may have been carrying from paternal figures in your life, which may have been affecting the way that you interact um, in relationships. So yeah, very interesting, Gemini. All right, let's see that Six of Swords. The Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords. It's like you're gaining, you're gaining a lot of clarity. That's what you're moving towards. You're moving towards gaining a lot of clarity in terms of something you have been avoiding, something that you may not have been facing, some conflict from the past or some conflict within this connection or some conflict within your own self that was reflected in this connection with this person. Whatever that is, you're resolving that. You're resolving something that you were once... Um, 
avoiding to see or not able to see. Kind of like something you were sneaking away, away from. Not only that, it's like because of that, you're also having a lot of clarity for where someone else might be doing that in your connection. And so you don't, you don't want to, you don't want that to be in your life anymore. And that's why I feel like you're kind of um, setting your boundaries and being very determined to walk away from that energetically. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are like necessarily breaking up with this person or walking away for good for some of you. It definitely could be, but you're walking away from that aspect. Like you're not tolerating anything that is um, deceptive anymore, even if it's not deliberately deceptive. Anything that is even remotely deceptive, you're moving away from that. All right, so let's see what's going on with this person here. Let's see the star. Queen of Cups and the Sun. Wow, okay, so Leo energy also showing up here. Um, yeah, this person definitely has a wish for this connection. Um, a lot of love here, a lot of emotions. They see you as just being what they would want in order to feel fulfilled, their happiness, right? Just their everything. It's like this person just has this huge wish, wish for you, um, even though they're being very passive. Let's see, let's see the Four of Swords. There's, a, like I said, there's a lot of healing. Like now we have <clears throat> three cards of healing out on the table in their energy, the Star, the Sun, and the Four of Swords, as well as the Queen of Cups to represent the emotions. So this is a lot of emotional healing that they're going through and the specifics of that is going to be different for each of them. <clears throat> All right, so let's see the Four of Swords and we have the Page of Cups and Judgment. Wow, yeah, talk about learning lessons, talk about healing, um, especially on an emotional level. We have the Queen of Cups, now we have the Page of Cups. Um, it almost feels like this person would even want to communicate this to you. It's like this person would want to tell you, hey, you know, like I am... I'm taking a break here, I'm, I'm passive, but I still hold a lot of emotions for you. They're having a lot of breakthroughs at the moment. So that could be why they're, if they're keeping distance, that is why. They're having a lot of breakthroughs, they're recovering from something, they're healing, and maybe they're <clears throat> recovering from some kind of conflict within this connection that they need to heal from. But whatever the case, this healing is leading to some kind of a resurrection here. Let's see the Four of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and <clears throat> the Devil. Yeah, they, they just need a little bit of time here. They are, they're either involved in some kind of an attachment, some kind of, a, like I said earlier, could be some kind of a karmic situation. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like they're, they're settling in something here. Some of them might be like overindulging a little bit in some um, obsessive behaviors, especially in terms of work. It could be in other areas, but I'm seeing it as possibly being in work. And that's, it's it's kind of like, it's serving as a distraction for them. Um, for whatever it is that they're going through, there's still healing happening, but, <clears throat> but they're also a little bit um, obsessed here with something. And again, I feel like it has to do with, with work for most of them. Um, just spending a little bit too much time there. And that's because, yeah, you know, they're still kind of settling in a situation that they might not be happy in, even if that just means um, being alone. And so they're ignoring um, certain opportunities at the moment, but it's because they're, they're recovering from something. So yeah, even though they're recovering from something, I, I feel like, you know, there's still some negatives attached to that. Like they're not 
dealing with it in the best way possible. So there is, that's why we still have like some toxicity here in their energy. But overall they are. <clears throat> they are moving forward. I feel like they will be able to overcome whatever this, this devil's energy is. They just need some time here. All right, so let's see justice for the potential outcome. <clears throat> the Two of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, that's just such a beautiful ending. So yeah, this is something that they're going to overcome, regardless of whether you know you want to come back to this connection or not, or maybe for some of you, you are still interacting with this person. Um, things are definitely going to start looking a lot better for you either way, okay? There's love here that is coming in. There's some kind of a karmic balance that is taking place. Um, <clears throat> within this connection or even concerning other connections. And whereas we had that Ace of Swords as the challenge, right, at the very, very start, it's showing up here at the potential outcome. So this is all going to lead to some kind of action that is being taken and with confidence. So that's actually a very beautiful ending. So Gemini, If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Yeah, so there are some obstacles here, right? There are some hurdles, some speed bumps along the way, especially for this person. I see you actually um, having mostly overcome the difficult part. Um, but ultimately this is like the star. All right, follow your bliss. You're both moving in the right direction. All right, at least for your own selves. And then love is possible here as well. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.